Okay, so this video was published on her channel on October 30th, 2021. Yella. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Sam, what are you doing, Sam? Are you looking out the window, Sam? Or are you sitting beside the trees, hoping you would get some? <laughs> Or you're just probably ready to be. Welcome to my vlog, everybody. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't lose you, babe. I can't lose you, babe. I can't lose you, babe. Oh. Tired of being home alone. Used to have a girl a day. I want you to stay. Wait. I want you to stay. Oh, just hearing that brings me back. So just a little context to anybody. Hey, Bambi, anybody who wasn't around last year <laughs> at this time, she was in the full throes of the mm, doing all of that and, and singing and listening to the weekend constantly. And every time she sang the weekend, we knew that she was with Koki and stuff. So all those weekend songs, really, it, it was a moment for us. Like, it's like, it's like a moment in... Yes, that's right. You guys are saying I'm not. I'm just saying that. You guys know the sniffing and the <clears throat> stuff. Sorry, Weekend. So right now I'm just stopping at an on route, which is about every 70 to 80 kilometers or so they have one of these on the way to Toronto and just good to stop and go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna head in and use the washroom and take a quick little break. Maybe stretch my legs will be nice. It's we're about two hours in the drive. So, so next stop, hot child in the city. Oh my God, the memories of it all. She has the crack pipe burn on her lips still. <gasps> oh my God. Hey guys, so I'm here in my hotel room and so oh, I forgot to tell you that I ordered room service. I forgot to show you. So since I forgot to show you my meal. I wait, wait, I see you guys in the chat. There's lag. What? Oh yeah, that's right. The, yeah, you remember? No, she cut herself shaving <laughs> and then confessed to the whole thing. That was great. Everybody thought I was nuts when I came out and said, like, girl, that's a bird from a crack pipe. Everyone was like, oh, my God, Frenchie's insane. Does she do crack? Why would she say that? And then she admitted that it was true. Oh, my God, y'all, I missed it. Thank you so much for the hype train. Damn, I'm, I'm so bad at this. FFG try to reload my video. What? I wonder if it's Twitch because nothing's lagging at all on my end and it just apparently fixed itself. Let's just press play and hope for the best. Uh. I was just so hungry that I didn't even bother filming it, but um, I'm sipping my sippy cup beer. Cheers. Oh God, I remember that from last year. Who the hell drinks beer from a straw? I have never seen that before and I've never seen that after. I've never seen someone drinking beer from a straw ever. And I'm just chilling out. My plans for the first night of this trip were just to unwind. It was a long drive, but the rental car made it so much worth it because it was just such a smoother ride. It's like a brand new car and it's a lot bigger. It's just like really, I don't know. It just feels roomier inside and more comfortable. And plus it's not going to do any wear and tear on my old car. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting, Jen. Um, The plan... She switched the plan, okay? The plan had been still laggy. Oh, this is fucking annoying. All right. I will try to reload the video, I suppose. Oh, this better fucking work. Hold on, hold on.
All right, let's try this again. Hold on, I've reloaded the tab. Oh, ah! okay, so what was happening when she first went and started clearly filming this, um, she was planning on kind of lying to everyone and, and not telling everyone that he was there and he was going. But then that plan got like fucked up during the trip. So we all found out that, yes, he was there. Yeah, obviously he had gone. Uh, and so she included him in the vlog. But yeah, you can tell by on the on the drive there and this and stuff. She was already trying to, like, that was the plan at this moment, to, to hide him from us. It was so bad. Show you. So since I forgot to show you my meal, I was just so hungry that I didn't even bother filming it. But um, I'm sipping my sippy cup beer. Cheers. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm sorry for all the quick pausing. A little bit of context, Bambi, for not just for Bambi, but for anybody else who maybe the timeline is a little hazy. I'm just, I'm so clear on the timeline because I've been putting these all in order. So for context, this video was posted on October 30th and it's a few days of, of a, a lag, right? So what had, what had been happening in that last week of October May Anderson had come forward with the accusations against Koki. Um, Koki and Chantal had had a massive, massive fight. If you guys remember for a, a few days, they didn't speak. And I think she had tried to put up that stupid alibi, that false alibi for him and stuff. Um, and it was like this Toronto trip was like, I don't know, some kind of sick consolation prize for him. Some kind of like, I'm sticking by my man. I, I don't know. He he needs a break after all he's going through. It's such bullshit. But that, in my opinion, is the reason that she was trying to hide the fact that she was even with him at the time. She was getting an incredible amount of backlash for still having anything to do with him. And I'm... Just chilling out. My plans for the first night of this trip were just to unwind. It was a long drive, but the rental car made it so much worth it because it was just such a smoother ride. It's like a brand new car and it's a lot bigger. It's just like really, I don't know. It just feels roomier inside and more comfortable. And plus it's not gonna do any wear and tear on my old car. <laughs> so I ended up having some room service and I had a mushroom soup. It was like a creamy mushroom soup with feta cheese. It was so good. Um, I ordered a beer, a tomato juice, seven up. And margarita pizza. I had a margarita pizza. So margarita pizza is just like mozzarella, San Marzano tomato sauce, and basil, fresh basil. So it was really, really good. Food so far here um, is amazing. So I am right smack downtown Toronto. Yeah, food so far here. She just got there. She's eaten one meal. It was like delivery a pizza. So far, so far amazing. It's like the same shit as her like travel now, if you can call this a travel. I don't know. Ottawa to Toronto, do you call that a trip? I don't know. I guess that's up to you. But how about you leave the hotel room? How about you you eat something besides a pizza and then tell us about the cuisine in Toronto? Which I'm not shitting on, by the way. I'm sure they have the crazy cuisine, just like Montreal. Any place that's a melting pot, like Montreal, like Toronto, like a lot of other places, that is where the food is really amazing because you're getting the best of the whole world in your city. And the first thing I did was have a bath <laughs> and um, just enjoying the sights and just relaxing. So, so anyways, I hope you enjoy this vlog. So this was in my room service and I didn't have any fortune cookies. I don't know if it fell out of my purse, but <clears throat> that's a very interesting fortune just to stumble across. All right, ready to take. Ah, the bath! Oh my God, the lush, the bath bombs. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. Here come the toes. The little toesies. The little half toes sticking out of the end of that tub. <laughs> Do you remember when Koki was his, I believe his bath bomb was like putrid, like chartreuse green pus? <laughs> and we'd already passed having gonorrhea. We were already all calling him green drippy D and stuff. And of all of the bath bombs that she could have given him. No, no. I think she was the one messing with the orange one. Wasn't he in one that was like a chartreuse yellow disgusting color? I think it was. <laughs> I remember us laughing about that last year. Amazing bath with my lush bath bomb, intergalactic. Ooh. 
this room. I'm going to enjoy this view tonight with my second bath. Pretty much using all my bath bombs in one trip, so. What a view. All right, so this is the door of the room. There's a closet here. And just some stuff. The TV. <laughs> and. Sorry, guys, I, I, I saw you in the chat block that person, but then I, I forgot again how to block that person. So I just did. Oh, but it took me a minute. And now I remember how to block, so don't fuck around. The bed. All right, so I have ordered some late night Uber Eats. Uh <laughs> well, okay, hold on. It's an ad. No fries left behind. You know how we roll. I'm sorry, guys. I, I saw the thing. I just, I could not remember how to freaking block. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I've only had, that's the second person I've only ever had to block, right? Oh my God. Absolutely not allowed. No, no, no. And don't think the delay was because we're allowing it. It literally just took me a minute to find it. I'm sorry. Same thing as last time. They were harassing. I forget who was fighting Bambi in the chat, I believe. I, it wasn't that I was like, ooh, instigated, like trying to get them fighting. I couldn't figure out how to block. Yee. So it's, um, hold on. Boomer lag, exactly. My my bad. So let's talk about the kneecap. Okay, I'm guessing she put up something on her community tab that I have missed. Hold on, let me get her page open. What's going on? Oh, no. Where's the kneecap? What is it on uh, Instagram or something? Where did she post it? Instagram. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, let me press play on this. I'm going to get us the picture and poop it up. Poop it up. Poop it up on the screen. <laughs> vacation. Uber vacation. So this is um, risotto. It is about midnight and I'm eating um, risotto, uh, shallots, wine sauce, padano cheese, uh, um, spinach, and grilled chicken. And this is also buco, which is like, I think, a veal ragu uh, with parpadelle and cheese. This is panna cotta, which is like a custard, Italian custard with pomegranates and pistachios and things. And this is, of course, cannoli with, um, looks like a ground cherry there for decoration, but uh, I appreciate that's a fancy decoration, but the cannoli looks... I don't think so, pal. So you guys, I don't know what they put in their hot sauce. It's like Italian hot sauce, but it's a friggin' bomb. Call me 90s or whatever, but it's a bomb. <laughs> Beauty friggin' bite. Mm. Oh my God, now there's so many tabs open. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So yeah, there's a picture of her in a kneecap. That, that's all it is? That that's that's it we've seen this before we've seen a picture of her in a kneecap before i thought i was gonna see something i hadn't seen before what is there to discuss i don't get it I genuinely don't get it chantal is has posted up a picture of herself in a kneecap just like she's done before she did a whole video in a kneecap too i i don't get it so i don't get it like what is there to discuss so are we going to discuss it? Like, well, literally, what is there to discuss? It's not shocking. It was shocking the first time. At this point, we're, I don't know, I am anyway. I'm, I'm used to her playing these fucking games. I'm, like, immune to this shit. Like, I don't know. I thought something was going on. I thought she'd be, like, outside. I, I don't know. I love how FFG roasts the people that flip out over community posts. It's not flip out, but I don't know when, uh, like I saw in the chat quite a few times, like, are we going to discuss Chantal in a kneecap? Chantal posted up in the kneecap. I thought like, I, I don't even know what I thought. Was she outside? Was there like, what was the situation going on? And she's wearing a kneecap, right? Nothing. It's her face up close. What is there to discuss? Oh, address it. <laughs> So I lit a candle. I really love these candles. And ah, oh, do you remember the stupid love potion fucking candle? I forgot all about that until right now. <laughs> so stupid. 
<laughs> and yeah, I just really like it. So um, this is like a citrus scented one. And now I'm going to run myself a bath in this tub. This is an amazing tub. Excuse me, thick Pikachu. This I will address. It, the in the bird stuffing is the superior stuffing. I'll eat the outside the bird stuffing too once the inside the bird stuffing is done. But are you fucking shitting me right now? In the bird stuffing is peak, okay? And the stuffing is the best thing of all the like holiday foods. So in the bird peak stuffing, there's nothing, there's nothing better. Literally nothing. What are you talking about? And, and there's a little table I can put my drink on, which I'm going to have some 7-Up and ice. And I'm going to... Uh, look! <laughs> Wait! I'm going to look at the view of the toilet of Toronto, of the six. Oh, I wish, KD. Uh, I mean, I am thick, but I am not... I do not possess fat ass. You know the you know like um baby got back when he's like little in the middle but she got much back. I'm the complete opposite of that. Real big in the middle but I got no ass. That's me. <laughs> Spindly legs, no ass. Yeah, that's me. That's your girlfriend, G. Foodie beauty in the six. Foodie beauty in the six. <laughs> I'm cringe. I'm going to show you my ready bath with my orange pumpkin, Mr. Pumpkin bath bomb from Lush, of course. The water is not steaming. This looks like, like, orange jello or tang or I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's the orange tub. Oh, my God. I forgot all about the orange tub. Look at how, on the one hand, gross, and on the other hand, I want to take a sip of that shit. How? No. Why would you do that? There's nothing about that that's like, ooh, yeah, jump in here, take a bath, get nice and clean. <laughs> listen, listen, FFG, you just need to know how to arch your back or learn how to arch your back. I know how to do that where it counts, okay? Wink. But I cannot wait to step in. If you're wondering, I have to Yeah, orange crunch tub, it orange. is. <laughs> When I get in, the water will rise. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys this bag I got in a FabFitFun I just never used. But I never noticed how cute the little zipper piece is. It's a cute little diva face. I don't know. I thought it was cute. So. Good morning. Sure. Okay. For anybody who actually is believing that Chantal right now, the arc with this guy and it's a real marriage and they actually love each other and we just refuse to see it. Did you hear her just sing good morning? You know what that is? That's somebody who's getting it. You could say whatever you want about Koki, but because it was an actual hustle, he, he did bone her. On this trip specifically, like give him the... And just let him go. He was doing it. And you could tell it in the way she just sang good morning at us. Okay? Miserable Chantal in Kuwait has not sang good morning at us. She doesn't have that ah, stupid look in her face in the morning at all. You can see it. You can tell. There's a big difference there. Toronto. Toronto. Whatever. Ooh, look Wow, look at the sky. This is a breathtaking view. I hope these people can't watch me poop here. If you see here the toilet, and as you can see, I'm sitting on it and watching the traffic. I'm just wondering if they can see me too. I'm having a barbecue over there. <laughs> so I'm wearing this outfit today um my plaid shirts and these jeggings from Pennington's yes and let's go for a walk on the town I hate that shirt oh my god I forgot that shirt that shirt reminds me of Koki because she only wore that shit during the Koki arc oh god no <laughs> star fishing yes that's right
Mm-hmm. She she starfished on this trip to Toronto. I'm sorry, Toronto. All right, I got my tripod and everything. Got my runners on. <laughs> because so much makeup. So much. Look at all of that makeup. It's daytime. It's like early, girl. You're going out in the light. Oh, you look nuts. And look at that bottom soot. Wow. Because I'm going to be doing some walking downtown. I pretty much stayed in and just pigged out on room service last night, as you saw. So um, today I feel like going for a walk and just kind of working off. Okay, probably not going to work off much of those calories, but we're going to get some some walking in anyway. We're going to go see downtown, um, just sightsee. Oh my god! Oh my god! They don't see they seaside what? <laughs> they don't sightsee anything. They're staying next to the Santa. I remember this walk like it was yesterday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't want to see him. That's the only thing and hear his voice and stuff. But this was such a such a fun time. We had so much fun last year during Crackhead Olympics and all this fucking insanity and stuff. I have the stupidest smile plastered on my face right now. Just like compared to the crap we've been watching lately. This is amazing. Coked out Chantal, like walking around the CN Tower and getting starfished by Koki so he'll pay she'll pay the rent and stuff. It feels like a lifetime ago. Got my lashes on. I like this lighting actually. So let's get to, let's get to. Gotta make sure I have my mask on. Let's go. I'll show you guys a bit of the hotel outside. I'm not gonna do a complete tour. But we're just going to show you a little bit of the area. They don't, like, go anywhere. They go right they're downstairs. It's like she films, ah, yeah, CN Tower. And they go back to the hotel to stuff their face. And, and she gets porked. We're going to go ice bankrupt with me here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the elevators. 37th floor. But I hate elevators. But um, I know that I can always sue them if something happens to me because they're rich. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Unless we get stuck, of course. Especially stuck with someone who farts in here. That someone farting in the elevator would probably be me anyway. Express elevator to the ground level. My ears are popping. <laughs> and here's the lobby. So yeah, these elevators go from ground to 26. And these are the express ones. She's really she's showing the different elevators. Go, go, lock, yellow. We are at the Delta Marriott. This is the lobby. CN Tower there. I'm scared of these things. Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let us out. <laughs> right when you walk out of the hotel is the CN Tower, which is pretty cool. Literally right in front of our hotel. That's awesome. Downtown Toronto, this is Bremner and Lower Simcoe. Okay, so her hotel was like next to the CN Tower, like a, a block away. So she's filming the CN Tower and then we're not gonna see really anything else of the city at all. She goes right back to the hotel. Walking downtown Toronto is much more pleasant than driving downtown Toronto. <laughs> what is this here? Oh, what a nice park. Like, that is the CN Tower. Like, when she was like, oh, what a nice park. There it is. There, she's still right there. <laughs> Get back here, you. Hi, guys. So, it's a gorgeous day downtown Toronto. Just going for a nice walk. And... <laughs> We're lucky she didn't bother labeling anything then. That would be funny. She pans over to Koki. She goes like, crackhead bum, labeled on the screen.
just want to be outside today. It's gorgeous. Don't know how many more days of this weather we're going to get. So I'm just walking around from their lower Simcoe area where our hotel is. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I hear she's already um, stopped pretending like he's not there. She flat out filmed him while she was shaking her hip in the, in the, what, the mirror in the hotel room. He was like in the mirror also, you know, the, the jig is up. And it's funny, as she's filming, you see her, like, switch her plan. Like, okay, we're not lying to the people anymore. We're going to film him now. It's so stupid. Here is Ripley's Aquarium. But on the other hand, I should say, on another thing. No, on the other hand, I should say, I'm glad she did it like this because we didn't have to see much Koki in this video. And I think it's sort of the only video from crackhead Olympics where we're not going to have to see much of him, you know what I mean? Or hear him. Ugh. Do all of these activities another time, but this trip, I was just feeling more like it, just relaxing and taking in the sights. I agree with you, Bambi. This is much better content and that's saying something, right? And yes, this is happy Chantal. This is getting it Chantal. You know what I mean? Chantal now marrying with my husband and the whole charade, right? Mm? That's not a happy Chantal. And that's certainly not a getting it Chantal. Twenty minutes later. And we are coming up to the elevators. Oh. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. I'm so sorry. I missed it in the chat and then I saw everyone wishing you a happy birthday. So I scrolled by. I hope you're having a great birthday. So she used the elevator. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so it's a literal disaster, <laughs> but it's really nice. Um, how's my CPAP machine? Keep in mind, at this point, they've spent one night in the hotel only, and look at the fucking room. No. Hello. The shower. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Got my Lush products here. And uh, like I said, I showed you guys, but I'll show you guys again. Look at this. Oh, my God. Wait, what? What? Sphinxy? FFG, she can't help but talk. Oh, is that right? They put up something on the couple's channel and she said something about moi? Interesting. <laughs> Gosh, there's a plane taking off. <gasps> that is gorgeous. And the harbor front and the, and the river and the, look at the glistening water. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, little, little, little pappy next to the bed. Oh. My home. <laughs> there's a Forever 21. I thought they closed. So there's like a 15 to 20 minute wait to get at the to get seating at the Cheesecake Factory. Um, we're gonna see if we can sit inside. His vaccination is like exactly 14 days ago. If not, we're gonna sit outside. So see you soon. FFG, she said in her chat, she's talking in the chat on her video. Oh, okay. So I'm at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I didn't see ads. Ads. No, no fries left behind. We wait. We wait. Okay. Let me get the couples tab thing. Let's see what's going on over there. And. Wait, no, I'm sorry. How dare I type Chantal first? Uh, was it Sal? I forget his name. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, they're premiering right now on the couple's channel. Uh, for another friggin' boring ass vlog. So, you know what we'll do? We're going to continue on with what we're doing. I'm in the zone now with this Toronto trip. It's a whole vibe, and I don't want to ruin it with their boring current content, okay? 
We'll finish what we're doing. We'll watch the Toronto stuff. And then, of course, we're going to react to the new vlog. Okay? Is the, uh, let me know, eh, when the ads are over. Just It's in your Twitter inbox. Okay. 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 Thank you, Gucci Gamer Girl. I appreciate it. So that's it. She's in the chat. Now I get it. Like, because it was a premiere. I didn't understand it was a premiere. Thought it was live again, you know? She's in the chat on her premiere talking shit. Okay. Let her talk shit. What do we care? We're over here. Watching Toronto, reliving better moments. She can be miserable and married. I don't fucking care. Oh, great. Ads are done. Let's play. And their fryer is down, so they have nothing fried, which means I can't have orange chicken, spring roll, egg roll, cheeseburger, egg rolls, fried cheese, nothing. So I'm pretty mad. Jamie, that's a good point, so, girl. I ordered a couple of dishes that don't require frying, which I guess is better for health, I guess. I don't know. But it's orange chicken. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to be trying some of these cheesecakes here. So, first one. Okay. Thank you, Gucci Gamer Girl. Uh, here's the tea, what Chantal was saying in the chat uh, during the premiere. So, I don't know what she's responding to, but she says, why are people so invasive? It's no one's business who pays and FFG wouldn't have a payday if it weren't for our content. So she should shut her trap, LMAO. I wouldn't have a payday, girl. Do you own the company I work at? I don't think so. So shut your face and like enjoy your honeymoon, right? Question mark. <laughs> You sound a little more passionate about the fries than you do about your new hubs. Is it because you want me? <laughs> is there a fork in the bag? Okay. This is <laughs> Sorry. pineapple upside down cheesecake. That's mine. This is yours. They're all mine. All yours? <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, here we go, guys. Need them both. Like in a way, I like I I know it's just because I have more personality than all of the players in Chantopolis combined. I'm I'm exotic and alluring and interesting to her. I don't know, girl. I don't need citizenship. I already live here. Bloop. Beauty bite. And we have banana cream, fresh banana cheesecake. <laughs> Let's try a big bite. Oh, hey, Julie. Oh All right, thank you. I'll check it. Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. I can't get it off. Sorry, guys. There's no cheesecake. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's very true. Nothing excites her more than food. And you can't find me anything ever that she has more chemistry with than that fucking cheesecake she's about to put in her face. Listen to the sounds. Listen to the sounds. Oh, she's watching this FFG Twitch right now, missing all of this. Maybe, oh my God, maybe that's why she's mad because she's also reliving this happy time in Toronto. Sorry, Toronto right here with us right now. <laughs> Ah, oh, Chantal, how sad. Look at you were starfishing. He was actually doing it. You had fucking cheesecake. Girl, you were flying high. <laughs> yeah. Mm. This one looks good. Sorry, it's messy. <laughs> oh no oh no okay that's the first time we're starting seeing his face for like, bleh, bleh, whatever <laughs> i want to find a way before i upload this on youtube to like blur his fucking face out i'm gonna have to really learn some nasa stuff or i'll just cover it with something i don't want to see him whatever <laughs> G 
she just fed him cheesecake. <laughs> that was more intimate than anything we've ever seen between her and her husband. Put a bush over his face. <laughs> mm. You like it? It's good. <laughs> So yeah, like I mentioned, their deep fryers were broken, so pretty Thank much <laughs> everything was <coughs> your picture all over the place in Canada. Any fryer, they don't get to see the <laughs> What? <laughs> Fucking fat chamber? I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, we're gonna go to a drive thru Yes. Oh, fucking fat chamber. Just kidding. <laughs> He's saying any place with a fryer in Canada, they should have her picture and not served her. Cover him with the Renaissance baby. <laughs> or just the poo emoji. You know, the poo emoji? Just the poo emoji. I don't even want my Renaissance baby anywhere near his face. Blech. And we'll see, see you later. later. Oh, my what a scary ending. Renaissance. Sorry, but it is Halloween. So I hope this sums up my vlog for you, uh, Toronto. I had a very relaxing, mm, fun time. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys! Oh, wow. Woo. Is anyone out? Like, my heart's racing like it always did. When they, when these two, the vibe, it always made my heart just tick, 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 racing. Oh, my God. I feel like I did last year. My, my palms are sweaty. Oh. It's wild. It's nuts. I hate his guts, but Jesus Christ, they had way more chemistry. It's undeniable. Just the way she looks at him. I'm going to say at this point, the way he's looking at her, although we know he doesn't like her. He played the game much better publicly anyway than Salad did for a while. Ooh, okay. Palm sweaty mom spaghetti. <laughs> Mom's fucking stuffing. That's what it is. Are we ready for round two? Part two? This was a two-parter. Oh my God, I'm sweating. The chemistry is at least existent compared to salad. Completely agree. <gasps> yes, the sexual tension from her side. You remember? You remember the first couple of times that Salad and Chantal streamed together? And I said, mm, it's so clear to see when somebody's done it. When, when two people have done it, you can tell. You can tell by the way they look at each other, the way they interact and whatever. You can see that these two have done it. It doesn't even have to go deeper than that. They definitely have more chemistry in them. But that you can fucking see it, you know? All right. Everybody, deep breath in and out. <sighs> Get a sip of your drink. We're going in for round two. Hold on. All right, so this is part two of the Toronto trip, posted on November 2nd. All right, guys, this is my outfit today, my new leggings, and this new pink disco ball pants, or shirt, sorry. Yeah. This is the rental car, Hyundai Sonata. And, yeah. We're about to park. Well, the valet just picked it up for us, but pretty nice. Is this where the zoo is? Toronto Zoo? Oh. Main entrance parking. We're on our way to the zoo. We're going to the Toronto Zoo. And you know, the interesting thing with Chantal is like, when they went to Toronto Zoo last year, because Chantal had never shown interest in animals and doesn't give a damn about her own two cats, right? I remember thinking last year, oh, well, I guess Koki wanted to go to the zoo. Fine, whatever, to each their own. Who the hell knows why? But now that this year she's again gone to the zoo with the husband this time, I'm realizing, oh, maybe zoos are her idea. Because two guys back to back two years in a row, who's going to the zoo like that? Like, clearly it was her idea. That can't be a coincidence. Let us in. Parking okay, you're right. You're right. Don't fence me in. They didn't go to the zoo. The zoo was closed. They went to the petting zoo because the zoo was closed. But I have a feeling they would have gone to the zoo had the zoo been open because they passed the zoo and she commented on how the zoo was closed, right? Um, okay, so zoo, 
petting zoo and now aquarium. It's kind of fucking weird. Face. I want to see all the animals. Hey guys, we're here at the Toronto Zoo and um, I'm going to do a vlog on my channel and then you're going to have different footage on your channel for this yep. vlog, right? Okay, so just so you know, two different videos, but um, nonetheless, we were on our way home and we saw the sign for Toronto Zoo and I kind of was craving to go for like a walk, do something else to have an extra video. Um, so uh, we are here at the Toronto Zoo. We're going to go see some animals and we're going to walk around. It is perfect weather for me. It's like 10 degrees Celsius, so perfect walking weather. I got some comfortable shoes on and let's go see some cute animals. Woohoo! It's a very cold and windy day today. I thought the temperature would be nice for me, but it's just windy. But nonetheless, okay. Like to be fair, the fucking zoo is closed for the past two years. How don't you know? Okay, I'm gonna put myself in Salad's place here. Okay, um, if what. Bleh, bleh. We have a zoo here in Granby. I wouldn't know if it's open or closed because I haven't been to the zoo in Granby in years. So but if anyone asked me, I would just be like, yeah, we have a zoo. It's in Granby. It's just outside of Montreal. I would have no fucking idea. Ma'am, you know the answer. Don't be asking questions like that. Yes, I am. <laughs> um... Uh, I, I think maybe that's what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, and maybe she didn't bother to take the, the time to even Google to see if it was open or closed. But I, like, I wouldn't fucking know if the zoo had been closed for two years, five years, 10 years, you know? Maybe Salad also doesn't normally go to the zoo. That's You see more evidence. This is a Chantal thing. Chantal just enjoys it. And even now, did you hear how she worded it with Koki? Like, uh, we were driving along and I wanted some, like, some extra for my video so we can walk around here. Like, it was her, again, who suggested it. Yeah. What it is. <laughs> yeah, here. Here it is here, guys. I'm going there now. Better than airplane. So we're here at the Toronto Zoo, we just got in, had to show our proof of vaccination, and actually today we are officially allowed to do things, so <laughs> um, yes, let's go walk around. All right, so we're going to go to, where are we now? <laughs> oh gosh! <sighs> Oh, is the beaver tail place open? Oh my god, ham colored crackhead outfit. Oh my god, I forgot how silly this outfit was. If it's so chilly that you need a toque, why do you have no sleeves on? If it's so chilly that you need a little vest, why do you have no sleeve? Short sleeve, toque, and a vest, and it's all ham colored. <laughs> This was really ham at its peak, wasn't it? Ham hat. Yep. 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 <laughs> I think that there's a lot of seating areas if we get tired because it's a big, big zoo. A lot of walking. I wish I could go on here. Oh, well. Too late for that. Is that monkey? Yeah, Indo Malaya. That's a um, orangutan. Yeah. Oh, peacocks. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's panting along. It is beautiful. Okay, I have nothing to say, and I feel like. We've seen somehow more, or there's just more to see. It's it's nicer in general than what we just saw the other day when they went to that petting zoo. I don't know. I don't feel so bad yet. I don't remember feeling so bad for the... Maybe maybe I'm wrong as this will go on. I hope we don't see too many animals. We, we haven't seen as many animals as we saw in the other video. Koki does look freezing, and he's wearing a fucking uh, hoodie. She's got short sleeves on. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say that too early because I don't remember, but I, I genuinely don't remember seeing too many animals in this video because it would have bothered me too, you know? I also don't like to see caged animals. India, I agree with you. 
but I, I, I just don't think there's as many animals at this zoo as there was like just that, that, that petting zoo, you know, cause it's like a small location. So everything was so like grouped together. It was uh, just animal overkill. I don't know. <laughs> Really? <laughs> no. Really? Oh, peacocks do? If they see red, or is that a chicken? If you want red, huh. That's a baby one. Oh, we got one. I see you. You did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not a turkey. <laughs> Raider, one horn or I know. Huh? Oh. <sighs> Yeah, you want to oh. here? <laughs> yeah, that's really still, that's just fucking sad. That is really fucking sad to me. I, I don't see this. What the hell? Why is she, she's there like laughing. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> Keep farting. Look at him. Aw. Look at him, he's, he's skin like a dinosaur. Rock. I know. <laughs> oh, look at him. Right? I feel bad, kind of. <laughs> he looks bored. They should get another Miss Rhino for him. Hi. Hi, Miss Rhino. He That's all it takes. Story. Say, Chantal, match them up. All she needs is a Miss Rhino, Mr. and then Rhino. that'll solve everything. Mr. What an idiot. Girlfriend or boyfriend? But he stinks. That's why she. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of the rhino. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's like elephant, sort of. Hey. Okay. Look, have the mask here. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Actually, today, it, because it's cold and it's off season, there's not too many people here at the Toronto Zoo today. And it just makes it easy, put your mind at ease a bit because of COVID and you don't have to worry so much about the distancing. And you get to do things at your own leisurely pace. So. Can you come down? <laughs> you think you can? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Want a picture with this guy? Yeah. Yeah, okay, the rhino, very sad. I don't want to see that. But it's just, there was so much less animals at this thing. So much just more walking around, huffing and puffing, Koki acting a fool, but it, it, acting a fool with the statue. I don't feel bad for the statue, you know? I feel bad for the statue that Koki's going to go over and manhandle it, but that's it. <laughs> it's the videos? I didn't know there were zombies in the rainforest. Oh, no, it's going to be hot in here. Whew. Wow. Oh, that's a voodoo. <laughs> Are you going to go up there? I have to go up all these stairs. Oh, my gosh. A year ago today, guys, I would never be able to do this trip. <laughs> she wants to leave right now. I have to go up all these stairs. Okay, I'll meet you at the car. Bye. <laughs> what's in here no oh, the freaking ads are playing all right no fries left behind we wait this is equally boring to me uh that the petting zoo video was undeniable this is not my thing at all not my jam but there was still i i hate to say this you know how much i hate him i have to disclaimer this every time i say it koki has slightly more personality than salad does so, I, I don't know, at least there's something in the videos and there's chemistry between them. She wants to be there. He only wants to be there to get his rent money, but he's faking it way better than Salad does, you know? It's just so different, the interaction between these two and the interaction between Chantal and her husband, which is weird, you know? Because it's even, it's not even a question of the modesty. Oh, well, the, the, the new guy's so modest. That's why we don't see. You should still be able to see the chemistry. And there's just none. Okay. Where are we going? <laughs> Whoa, what's in here? <laughs> oh, sunny. Oh, yeah, Gucci Gamer Girl, you're right. Koki is a better con artist, you're right. Look at that. Look at this big one. <laughs> they have big uh, scales. Yeah. Look at this one. The big bad and the ugly. <laughs> the big bad and the ugly. 
Okay. Oh, turtles. But you know what? I'm going to say this. I still, Koki is a better a con artist, implies that the new guy is a con artist. And I don't think Chantal is getting conned. And I, I want to say that again. I do believe that that is a, a transaction, completely transactional. There are terms to this and he doesn't even have to pretend to like her. You know, uh, Koki was different. There was no terms to anything. He was just conning her for rent money and drugs. What is this? See the turtles in the pond? Their heads are sticking out of the water. Oh, yeah. It's hard to see. I wonder what they're saying to each other. <laughs> Walk fast because I lose my life with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bird here. Hi, what is this? What Hi. is this? Is? Don't let the birds out. Here's turtles. Oh, look. I what kind of bird that is. If anyone knows what kind of uh, birds or animals that we're not seeing the label for, or the, uh, yeah, label, I hate to say it like that, but <laughs> let us know. What is that? He's hiding his food. Oh, look it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he almost came. <laughs> I see something. What is that? It was still edited though. You okay? The content was like pretty much oh. the same, but the chemistry was different. Same shitty editing. Like if you that... edited this, why don't you edit out all the oh, wow. like that little waddling oh, and puffing strange. and puffing and stuff just to make it a little longer? <laughs> and Koki, leave the this fucking birds alone, so for God's sakes, man! Wow, look at the trees are gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, hmm. hi. <laughs> look at his little face. Yeah, look funny. <laughs> I'm not afraid of humans anymore, I don't think. Okay. Right? Yeah. Look at this one. What kind of birds are those? Why is he fucking touching everything? My God. It was so deeply in like uh, the end of lockdown and like Rona was still rampant. They had to show proof of vaccination just to get in that place. He's touching everything. My God, he's the Amber Lynn of Shantopolis. I never noticed that before. <laughs> no, the zoo does not have Pomeranians. <laughs> Hi, look at his little hairs. Look at his little hairs. Hi! Hi! Yeah. <laughs> Look at this snake. Where? Oh my this god. This is Asia's giant reticulated python. Wow. That's huge. <laughs> really good. There's a rabbit in there. Oh. Yes. Oh my god, he's gonna go eat it. Look at the head. I need to watch this. It'll take like an hour to eat it. He's moving. Is that, this is dead, or what? He's not yeah, the, he's not, he's not, the snake doesn't eat the rabbit. Yeah, they sometimes do. They prefer to kill it, but... Oh my god! Oh, no. Yeah, where's Ray when you need him? <laughs> Hi! He's itching his butt. Look! He's scratching his butt. Is your butt alone? It's not your fault. He's give you diapers. It's not your fault. He's give you diapers. <laughs> Oh my God, your boy, Jimmy, <laughs> you're right. I'll give him this much. Koki was into the zoo and Salad is into himself on camera. <laughs> well said. He's having a nap. Not what? <laughs> Inject this animal, don't move. <laughs> That's a toucan, hey? Ooh. Look at him bouncing around. <laughs> That's a toucan. That's gorgeous. Huh? We're gonna go up these stairs to see the orangutan. Here he is. <laughs> Yo, buddy. Oh. Wait, why? Why, Horticia, darling? Dude, it gave me a message to report the stream. Why? Oh, because she put a trigger warning on the stream. 
Because the snake was going to eat? Oh, come on. <laughs> Fucking Twitch is so soft. Give him space. No, leave him alone. Oh my god, they're going to cuddle? <gasps> no, I can't handle that. That's too cute. Oh my god. They're hey, people watching you here. They're cuddling. Yeah, she's shy. And he's going to go again. <laughs> oh my god, they're precious. They're endangered. Yo, man. Hi. Yes, I'm talking to you. You're so pretty. Hi. Any smoke? <laughs> Look at them. Hi. This is a lose on. He's such a moron. He just asked you smoke. Oh my god. Koki, why would you do that? Bleeding heart dove. Where did it go? Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Hi. Okay. A mandarin duck. Wow. Oh. It's pretty. Hey? Yeah. Oh. Look yeah. at that. Look at his face. Yeah. See here? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that was such an awkward fucking thing to say. Do you smoke? Like what? How high are you right now? <laughs> this is all uphill. Good workout. Yeah. I got my good shoes on for this. God. Are we in Africa yet? A lot of uphill here. <laughs> now we're going to the African Pavilion. This is my Africa. <laughs> the burrows and caves of Africa. Let us enter. Africa Savannah. It's nice out now. <laughs> this looks like this looks like the savannah. <laughs> Some of the exhibits are closed, probably because of COVID. Yeah, the snarky priest. You're so right. It's actually so sad to how badly she craves love. That's all she wants is for someone to love her deeply, but she's vile, and so no can. Well said. I'm not gonna climb that, are you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Woohoo! See the lamp? Yeah, I thought you were going to Oh, we got it. I think we can go in the other way, maybe. Look at him in the lamp. He's cold. Oh. Oh, oh my God. They're so cute, lemurs. <laughs> That's gonna be hot in here. Woo. All right. Put your mask inside. <laughs> yeah really like kids at the zoo are behaving better than koki he's like a, when he was a kid was never told to behave and you can tell by the way he behaves as an adult mm? jumping on everything touching everything climbing everything calm the fuck down <laughs> hippopotamus yeah they don't have much uh Oh, they're sleeping together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Look at him. Yeah. You this see? is the one I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're cute. This is, that's the good <laughs> <laughs> no, Salad could what never climb a tree like a crapped out I squirrel. That that's for sure. Myself. The other one's hanging out by the heat lamp over there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> he wants a piece. It's not a Nashi, don't worry. <laughs> it's a lungfish. This is almost loaded. Maybe. Yes. They remain unchanged for over 400 million years. They're the same. A living fossil, they call this creature. Lungfish. Wow. 400 million years? Yep. It stayed unchanged for 400 million years. Million? Oh my gosh. Chameleon nursery? Oh, look at the eggs. Oh, the porcupine is sleeping too. I don't see. See in this log? Inside the log? <laughs> oh my God. You went to Toronto. You only made two, two videos, two vlogs. Then your whole thing in Toronto. How long are we going to be at the fucking zoo? 
Oh, that's a big silver back. I mean, big you're silver. definitely right, though. This was a better zoo trip than the one with salad was, for sure. <laughs> it's an otter. Oh, my gosh, they're cute. Hey, they remind me of sea, cats of the sea, or wherever they live. It's a good shot. <laughs> Look at them, they are tough. <laughs> I know he's trying to make them happy. Look, oh, it's a turkey. Who cares? Oh, we only did this so far. There's still all this. Really? We don't see everything yet. Yeah, we saw Indo Malaya. We don't see this? Yeah, we did the rhino. Monkeys. Who's that? Orangutan. The ones that were hugging? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bird on the picnic area. What's he doing there? He wants a Coke. You got any change for a peacock to have a soda? So fun fact, but the zoo worker told us that we have to wear our masks just around the gorillas because they share so much DNA with humans, they can get COVID. Right? Yeah. Who's this? Hello. That place is huge. There's no fucking way they saw the whole place. There's only a few minutes left of the video. <laughs> she gave up and went back to the hotel for a bath bomb and a starfish. Yeah. It's a peacock. Oh, are you want? Here, come with me home. Hi. Hello. Yay. Oh. Interesting. About DD. <clears throat> this is when Dee Dee was watching and realized that she liked it the most. True. Uh, going back through the archive and my screenshots and everything, I found an old comment, for, uh, not on my channel, on Chantal's, was really an old video. I think it was, um, what would it have been, like August or September of last year. And her name in the chat was Debbie Colbeck. She changed her name when she started liking it the most. Trying to, I guess, I don't know, not have her first and last name out there. Nice try, Dee Dee. Too little, too late. <laughs> Hello. Now we're coming to Kesho Park. I hope I see a giraffe, but the giraffes must be cold this time of year. Look in the mirror, look in the thing. See the horns? This is the, let's see, Ancoli, Watusi cattle. Uh, yeah. Hello. No, hold the mask. Oh. He's looking for food. That's a nice, pretty one. You know how to fight? Yes, in fact, eh? Yeah. Dumb. Hmm? He's looking for food. Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> I see you guys in the chat. Some people are like glad that DDK belongs. Some people not. It's the sliding doors of our Shantopolis, if you think about it. Had Didi not come along and liked it the most, there would have been no wrench in all the plan. They could have gone back and forth for God know how many years just these little breakup makeups, the payday cycle, all of that shit would have just gone on and on and on. Dee Dee was the wrench in the plan. Hmm? Dee Dee wrench in the plan is what gave us all of the crackhead Olympics last year. So for that, I thank Dee Dee. However, if Dee Dee hadn't come in, would we now be holed up like a hostage in a fucking boarding room looking ass situation in Kuwait? That's the sliding doors. So guys, if you're not even halfway done, this zoo is huge. Um, so far, so good. There's a lot of seating places my feet are before, but uh, I'm freaking uh, hungry. Can I eat these? This is the uh, red berry. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a bit grumpy now because I'm hungry. And uh, <laughs> there's nothing open because of COVID. No pizza. Nothing. Hungry. Here yeah, they're coming. You see them? Yeah, That's what I think, too. I think he'd still be holed up at his crack house in Gatineau, and it would just be, like, makeups, breakups, makeups, breakups. 
Oh my God. It would have gone on forever. Hey. Look at him thinking up top of this rock. To be or not to be? That is the question. Rhino poo. Ooh, sexy. Puts mine to shame. What? Same guy. Still not an ashy, but it'll do, right? <laughs> hey, look, I see you. Eating. He's trying to help me. She don't like to make the videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing. <laughs> I'm pushing. <laughs> we found a place that's open. Yeah, you feel good. <laughs> that nervous giggle. We haven't heard that giggle even once with salad. That is the giggle of somebody who has feelings and is getting it. She was so excited on this trip to Toronto. Uh, Toronto. Sorry, my bad. She just was living her best life. This was the happiest week of her life because he claimed her. His relationship status was in a, like in a relationship on Facebook. Oh my God. This was the happiest she's like ever been that I've ever watched Chantal. This was the peak Toronto. Oh yeah. Helen. Oh, oh, pizza, pizza. No, I'm not caribou. <laughs> pizza pizza is good enough for me. Pizza slice, just cheese and Cherry Coke and some more water. I think I've burned enough calories. I haven't eaten yet today. This is like an oasis in the middle of a huge zoo. Sweaty. Oh, I got a pickle on a stick. Yeah. It's like November. <laughs> in Canada, she's sweaty. Everyone else is wearing long sleeves and like little jackets and stuff, sweating. Oh, uh, Gamba Jones. Totally agree. Being 40 and having a one-week life peak. That is a bummer. Ah. <laughs> and you, can I have one of your fries? Thanks. <laughs> what is that? Do you see it? Look at it in the camera, see? Ads. Uh, friggin' ads. Come on. All right. No fries left behind. We wait. Food aggression is real. <laughs> it is. And it's always about the fries. <laughs> I know, eh? She does act like there's going to be somebody like coming to take it from her. Oh, girl. It's like shitty, shitty food in a zoo. Relax. Relax. Oh. Oh, you can turn off chat censorship in settings for this channel. <gasps> Okay, I will do that after the stream. Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to look into that. Um, FFG, why is the chat having so many words censored? Is this new? I've never heard anyone say that before, so I'm going to guess it's new. That is freaking weird. Okay, you're back from the ads? All right. Look. You see him? Is that folks? It's a red panda, I think. So this is a tree kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh, excuse me. Kangaroo, get it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes. Look at him. We are seriously the only people here right now, like in this area. What is this? <laughs> oh my God! I love these things. Dry? I have them dry, so... No, really? Oh. <laughs> They're so precious, aren't they? Look at their little fins moving. Oh, seahorse. Oh, I love them. <laughs> oh, polar bear. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I think, think we pissed, pissed off the wolves, wolves because now hey. their the pack has been following us around this ring here. <laughs> they don't look too happy. <laughs> I know. You followed us all the way over to the end of the pen. Yeah, they don't look happy. They're like, like crackhead, can you please get out of our zoo? It's bad enough we have to live here. Leave. Know, this vlog of the Toronto Zoo. Oh, my body's going to be sore tomorrow. My feet. <laughs> I'm glad I had good shoes on. But I um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. And... Um, I'll see you guys 
the next video. Yeah, she's so into labeling everything now, which is hilarious. I mean, it's just so stupid. She, uh, I don't know. She never edited. It's like one extreme to the other, right? No editing at all or uh, editing such stupid banal things, making it take longer than it needs to because I'm putting in things like an old truck. Going to get Lulu, which is ice cream. Vanilla? Yeah. The Please. Lulu. Should come. Okay, I'm glad we're finally in a store. That store is giving me anxiety, but oh my God, look, they're all like the same. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm glad we're in a store. I'm not going to completely shit on it. Hello, guys. We're going to go check out some other stores now. Was that the escalator making that sound? Oh, if I got on an escalator and it made that sound, I'd be getting off that fucking escalator. Let me just listen to that again. Is it struggling under Chantal? Or is that just the sound of the escalator? Let's see if we can hear it before she gets, or like when she steps off of it. Oh. Hello, guys. We're going to go check out some other stores now. So Wendy's here. I didn't know that. But I'm not here to try Wendy's. I want to try stuff I haven't tried. Something like this would cover me fully. Oh, what's that? All the shirts were too small for her. But you remember before she left saying how everyone was so obese in Kuwait, she'd easily be able to find her size. And that's why she wasn't bringing or buying any clothes before leaving because everything would be so cheap over there and her size would be everywhere. This, by the way, makes it the second time she's gone shopping and not been able to find her size. So last night, you saw us go to Dream Mall for some abayas and clothes shopping. And today we returned to check out the Lulu supermarket. We actually wanted to show you guys a couple of different grocery stores where people buy food here in Kuwait. So we're going to take you to a private owned place, the Lulu supermarket and a co-op, which is government owned. Let's check it out. <laughs> We need lots of fries. She is obsessed with me. What do you need lots of fries for? Can't get fries off your bag. Hey, Chantal, I'm kidding. It's because they don't have a kitchen and they have to cook everything in an air fryer. I feel you. Okay. Almarai is a very popular dairy company here. They have this craft cheddar cheese spread. Very popular here. How 
would she know what's very popular there? She's only been there three weeks and she never leaves her house or like goes to anyone else's house. How the hell do you know what's popular? Because he's told you? Is that it? Mm. Interesting to see craft. Yeah, Almarai yogurt. Very popular. Very good. Their milk. Milk and leaven is very popular here. There's a whole section of, of leaven, which is like a milk drink. Attention, le vendredi fou débute. Don't give me any lip lip they're advertising. Vendredi fou. That's Black uh, Black uh, Friday. They call it vendredi fou in Quebec. Starbucks. <laughs> nice. Starbucks is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it is ads. It's my ads this time. <laughs> Here's the whole craft section. We don't have this. We have craft cheese, but not this kind. Whoa. Cheese spread. Oh, why? Girl. Okay. We've seen the cheese. Can you move somewhere else? Maybe in the grocery store? Can you show us something else? All we're going to see is cheese and fucking milk. And then they have the Almarai brand. Oh, cool. Santa cheese. <gasps> String cheese. You know, it would be interesting. I can't see the prices. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's, how many pieces do you get in that string cheese? This, see, this is the content I want from Kuwait. Let's see price comparisons. Colby Jack. String cheese. 12 pieces. 189. So that's what? Two, almost two. Kuwaiti dinars. Holy shit, that would make it like 880 Canadian for 12 fucking string cheeses? Mm, okay. Look at all this Kiri cheese. Very popular here. I love it. Like Laughing Cow. Actually, the Almarai brand is a lot tastier, in my opinion, than the Kiri. Interesting, eh? This is popular in the Arab world, Barbican. It's a fruity carbonated drink. It's actually really good. You like barbacan? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. These are various juices here. Lemon mint. Damn it, she's not. I wanted to see the problem. I'm like, ooh, how much is like a thing of juice? Wait a minute. Let's go back. Whoa, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, wait. Go closer. Wait a minute. That. Does that say five something? Am I nuts? Lemon mint. Tabarnak Chantal! Christmas decorations. These Doritos are interesting. Cheeto Doritos. We don't have those. Tomato ketchup. My favorite. And French cheese. Yum. <laughs> That's not copyright music. Okay. If it was really five something, that's astronomical. Five something times four something to make it Canadian. Holy shit. 20 something dollars Canadian for a thing of juice. That can't be. Uh, okay. It could not have said five something. It must be my eyes. But you see, in my opinion, that would have been an interesting trip to the grocery store. Show us stuff that either we can't buy here, that's interesting, or show us things that we specifically can buy here, but show us like the difference, show us the price. I'm curious. These are the things that I'm interested in, you know? This is the laundry detergent here. Persil. There's multiple floors here. Fairy is the dish soap. Popular here, fairy. It's for ladies. I need to dye my hair actually. My hair's coming back, so. 
Yes. For fuck's sake. Ah, that would have been... Uh, how much is the box of hair color? Oh my God, y'all. She's dyeing her hair again. <sighs> what? Do you think that's just for video? Do you think she's really dyeing her hair? Did she put it right down? She's letting it grow? She's going back to the sooty life? Can you sit under a hijab? You better wear a black hijab. Oh my God. So many questions. This is a really good price for a fabric softener. Remove waterproof mascara. I really needed. Okay. Okay. If I'm looking correctly, it looks like the price on that is one, maybe 185, 125, 145, something like that. One something anyway. Okay. Still, that's what? Over five bucks Canadian for those wipes? How many wipes are you getting for five bucks? 20 wipes? Oh, that's crazy. These one KD and 650 fifths translates to like five bucks, maybe. The carts alone. Ghost cart. Home alone. Home alone cart. I really like Nutella and Kinder here. There's a whole Kinder section. Yum. My favorite. This brand. It's a German brand. Yum. Chocolate cookies? Yeah. Hazelnut. Yeah. You guys love hazelnut chocolate here, like Nutella. Oh my God. Okay. You know what's interesting? I had sort of the first appearance of salad, and we just watched Koki. On the, the, the retro reacts that we just did. And oh boy, this guy is so boring. Tinder. So delicious. I want to try some of this nougat. I love nougat. Oh, oh, hold on. It's freaking ads. No fries left behind. I love nougat too. Ooh, what is that? Fiori. Nougat bar? Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm not hating on it, but... Does that really go with your diet? Hmm? It doesn't. Whatever. No judgment. Live your life. What happened to the fancy malls? We're broke, broke for the fancy malls. Nobody's going to the fancy malls. We went to what looked like a discount, a buy a place. And now we're at the co-op grocery store, which you took the time to write on the screen that is cheaper than the grocery stores. So, okay. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Look at his hips, FFG. What am I looking at his hips? Is he getting wide? Is that it? <laughs> well, I mean, he's living with Chantal. Of course, he's going to get a little wide. Plus, you know, he's in that newlywed bliss. <laughs> Just fucking kidding. Ads are over great. And caramel. Our cart so far? Some Maltesers. This is the story of the award-winning. Ah! If it's not, listen, you had your ads, now it's my ads. <laughs> Those are good. <laughs> Hazelnut. Ripple Galaxy, yum. Why is he buying so much chocolate? That is an extreme amount of like chocolate stuff. There are two people. And like two of everything, two of everything. Okay. Why would you buy all that? So far, their groceries is just hair dye, fabric softener, and a shit ton of chocolate. My next choice. Yella. So we're at a co-op store, which is government funded versus private. So the prices are a bit cheaper here. Just trying to show you a variety of different grocery stores they have here. Fruit and nut. My oh. So she's just like out and in a like a full ass like what what is it called today? I've lost the word. Oh my God. I, I'm like, come on, brain, wake the hell up. She's out in public. Okay. See, before kneecap, thank you guys. Ugh. Before when you were like, are we going to address her with the kneecap? And it was just a picture on Instagram. That was one thing. This, this is worth a dress. Okay. So she's just doing it now. Fine. Good on you, Chantal. If it's you, yeah, address it. <laughs> if it's you who chose to do this today, fine. You wanted to like try, you went to buy the abaya, maybe it came with. I don't I don't fucking know. 
you bought some some new hijabs and they gave you the kneecap piece. I, I don't know. He's ashamed of her. Oh, <laughs> it's a choice though. <gasps> Those lip sores acting up. Bleep. Favorite fruit and nut. Snack. Snack. Those are good. Dairy mm. milk. Look at all of the chocolate. He's not done yet. He's still chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Uh, is he on government assistance? From everything that I've read, he wouldn't qualify for government assistance because he's Syrian. Even though he was born there, he doesn't have Kuwaiti citizenship. And if you're not a citizen, you wouldn't qualify for it. So unless he's actually a citizen and this Syrian thing isn't true or I don't really know. No, apparently he wouldn't. Okay, bubbly. Like an arrow bar, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Nescafe station. I'm going to get some instant coffee. Three in one Nescafe. Spices. Why would you buy instant coffee? Instant coffee is so bad. I hate Nescafe. Ugh. It's so bad. I'd rather have no coffee than instant coffee. Come and fight me. Hey, Spice Guy. Hello. Absolutely. Instant coffee is swill. I'm going to get a couple of these. Lentil. My favorite. And some more chicken soup. <gasps> oh, so they're not actually making soup since it's just fucking Maggi. Like the, the instant. I didn't realize that. So is that, okay, when she cooks and she's like, I cook. That's what she's saying? She adds a little um, water to the Maggi powder and makes fucking soup? Oh, instant coffee, instant soup, fistfuls of chocolate. Gamer life! Indomie. I'm addicted. Instant noodles. How about 10 packs of Indomie? Sounds good to me. Let's get it. Yalla. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to lie. This is like me grocery shopping at 21 years old. A shit ton of chocolate, a bunch of like uh, instant noodles, and that's about it. <laughs> Me at 21 years old doing my grocery shopping. <laughs> All the pasta. You love pasta, don't you? <laughs> What's your favorite pasta? The macaroni? Macaroni. Elbow macaroni is your favorite. You have a wall of pasta and your favorite is elbow macaroni. He is the most basic of all bitches. For fuck's sake, salad. You have a wall of pasta. Who picks elbow macaroni as their favorite? This guy is also a toddler. That's it. Toddler confirmed. He grocery shops chocolate and elbow macaroni. I bet you... Anybody who loves mozzarella would say that their favorite pest is macaroni. <laughs> Unicorn Fruit Loops. Never tried those. Are those in North America? Reese's. <laughs> Yummy. Peanut butter. Cool. They have like a ranch. Heinz in a bottle. Never seen that. We have all of those here. Just by the way, all those weird flavors of ranch. Or not a ranch of Heinz, the ranch, the wasabi one. The, like there's like a fucking lineup of them. We have them all here in the grocery stores. What's she talking about? Mayonnaise. All kinds of mayonnaise. I love these things. They're like real chicken. They're so good. Oh my god, chicken fingers. I swear to god, yeah, me at 21 favorites. doing my grocery shopping. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Our favorite. Breaded chicken tender. Yum. 
So they get the nugs in all the forms. They get chicken fingers, chicken nuggets, and chicken tenders. <laughs> Why no chicken burgers? What's the matter with you? I would have loved to see a box of chicken burgers or a bag of chicken burgers and see what's written on them. Chicken burgers or chicken patties? You know it would be chicken burgers. Strawberry Fanta. Yummy. Raspberry Pepsi? I need to try that. Get one from the back where it's colder. There we go. All right. Labna? Uh, Turkish Labna. Yum. Like a cream cheese and butter. After the Is that what he eats on his noodles? Just butter noodles? Oh my God. And she comes out, she's like, what do you want to have for dinner, mommy? Can you make me some butter noodles? Co-op, we stopped by a friend's who made us some Arabic Syrian style coffee, the dark brown instead of the blonde that I'm used to. It was very fragrant and strong, but very delicious. That was it. That yeah, that that was it. Not one fruit, not one vegetable, nothing fresh at all. Wow. All right, we're here picking up roasted chicken, Syrian style, right? Yeah. And roasting is a healthier way of eating fried style chicken. Um, it only it uses less oil, and it's a combination of cooking. Uh, frying and I think pressure cooking, but it's also marinated chicken. It's supposed to be tastier and healthier. So broasted chicken, we'll show you when we get home. Yella. All right, here's the food. Some fresh pita bread. Oh my God, and I was thinking she had a typo in her thing. Broasted chicken is really a thing. What? <laughs> okay. Pickles and greens, hummus, and here's the roasted chicken. It looks very crispy with some fries. Uh, that looks like fried chicken to me. Roasted chicken is a southern thing too? It is? Oh, that just looks like fried chicken. Am I crazy? I've never heard of this roasted chicken, but I, I know fried chicken when I see it. That's fried. That is not broasted. Looks brattered. <laughs> Broiled and roasted. Okay. Broiled and roasted. Could you broil and roast? Like, how would you call this? Like breaded chicken? That just looks like fried fucking chicken. And they always, this is standard, they give you this as like a tablecloth to keep clean. Your table clean. Hello guys, now I'm going to try the first bite of the food. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Um, that's fried chicken. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, okay, okay, what if they fry the chicken and then they stick it under a broiler right before they serve it to you so it's like a little extra crispy, a little extra crunchy. That That's like fucking KFC. Come on. Maybe. Try the hummus. Hummus. She is, she, you, you can tell she's down today. She probably didn't get the food she wanted today. I think it was eye opening the shopping today and seeing just how little she can do with her money compared to how, well, I mean, it doesn't go far for her, but compared to how much she can buy with her YouTube paychecks, let's say a year. Uh, I don't know. She probably wasn't allowed to add anything to the grocery cart unless it was like, okay, buy salad. She's probably pissed. She's used to doing whatever she wants, you know? I love that for her. <laughs> mm. So good. You try the hummus. You like it? 
I hate him so much. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is peak reason that I don't like this guy. I, I hate mukbox. I feel like I have to say that first, right? Watching people eat sickens me unless I'm like sitting at a table eating a meal with you. That's different. But just sitting here in my living room watching people eat is disgusting to me. The way this guy, I fucks the camera while he puts bites of food into his mouth and then the little mmm. I hate him with every fiber of my being for that. So good. You can try the hummus. You like it? Hummus is very good with the food. Yes. We make the balance. <laughs> very healthy. I don't know who told this guy that he's like sexy when he eats or whatever, but salad, they were fucking lying to you. You look like a fucking idiot, okay? Stop eye-fucking yourself while you taste the food. Better yet, stay off camera completely. No one needs you around. This couple's channel is a fucking farce. People would rather just watch Chantal. Get the hell out of here, salad. Healthy, too. Mm. Looks super crunchy. Mmm, juicy, tender. Cheers. Super crunchy and not oily and greasy. Why did he just do that with his fingers? Oh, no, we're going back. Why, why, why? <laughs> Why did it just look like you just manhandled a piece of chicken more than you've manhandled your new wife? Let's watch that again. That was really fucking weird. Mmm. And not greasy and oily like KFC at all. Yeah, it's more healthy, by the way. Ooh, this one's spicy. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get. That's your fucking karma. Drop all that chicken on the floor because nobody needs to see you doing that to it. You're doing too much salad. We don't like you. He loves it the most. I hate him more than... I hate him the most, okay? This is so gross. <laughs> This is the happiest we've seen her over there. Yeah, her mood really perked up as soon as she got that chicken in her face, didn't she? Hmm. It's full down in the ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like, that's so that's silly. Ah, oh. Here's then good. That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's it. That was awful. Again, that was awful. This guy is so gross. Oh my God. Ugh. Just eye fucking himself and being all weird and also bringing absolutely nothing to the channel, to the conversation. He's got nothing to say. You're boring as hell. How this woman found somebody equally boring with as little personality as her, I'm never gonna understand how they found each other. Bye.